Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of circles, specifically how we can find the area of circles, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a basic circle here, and our area of a circle has a very simple formula. So we're going to see that A, and sometimes it's got a little tiny C, that means uh, area of a circle, or A sub C is what we'll call it sometimes, Either way, area of a circle is going to equal these calculations right here, pi r squared. So pi is a constant. It's actually a Greek letter that is about, so you notice I'm going to use the squiggly lines, just kind of like the top of pi there. That means it's approximately 3.14. It's actually an irrational number that goes on forever and ever and ever. It never actually stops. What it is, remember, is pi is actually the, and now this is an actual equal sign here, it is the ratio of their circumference over the diameter of any circle. It doesn't matter whether it's 5 miles across or 5 millimeters across. If you were to measure the circumference and you were to divide it by the diameter of that circle, you would always get this pi. And so we always think of the first three digits of pi, 3.14 is pretty close, because if we get to that point, we're really not going to change uh, decimal spots to the 10th uh, or 100th spot. So we're looking at that, and now we're looking at our radius. So this right here is our radius. So the radius is a an imaginary line, so it's going to be drawn for you. It's going to be an imaginary line that it starts at the center. So here's my center. It is the midpoint of our circle that is equidistant from all points on the outside of the circle. And it's going to go halfway between the, uh, the midpoint and then over to one of the sides. And so that is going to be all right. So that's all we need. We need those two numbers. So let's just give this a number. Let's say I said five millimeters. So let's just say five millimeters. All right, so if our radius is labeled for us, then we are in business. So first, let's just go ahead and take care of the r squared. So we're going to say pi, it's just 3.14, about. And then I'm going to have my 5 and squared. Now, the only tricky thing here is 5 squared does not mean 2 times 5. That does not mean double 5. What that means is we're going to take 5, we're going to multiply it by itself two times. So the easiest way to view it is just, list, is just to literally put it out right here, 5 times 5. That's what 5 squared means, is 5 times 5. Well, that's fine, that's 25. So really, we're looking at 3.14 times 25. And if we do that, we have got our area. And so, you know, it's an estimate, right? If you just want to do a real quick estimate, it's going to be uh, 75 because 25 times 3 is 75. But, you know, you could pull out your calculator and get the actual answer if you want to. Normally, it's going to say something like round it to the first uh, two digits or to the hundredths place because obviously 3.14 is just an approximation of pi. Let's look at another example. So you might be asked to find the area of a circle but all you're given here is this measurement. Now remember, this is not the radius. This is the diameter. And remember, the diameter is just double the radius. So I've got a radius here. And then I've got another radius right here. So one of the things we learn about circles is that my diameter just equals double the radius. Not radius squared, just double the radius. So let's say I get my diameter is going to be, and they give me 18 feet. So let's say this whole thing right here is 18 feet, and they still want the area. Well, if area equals pi r squared, well, then all I need to do is find my radius, right? So my radius is going to be half that. That's 9 feet, and then I can just do that. It's going to be pi then times 9 squared. And so you calculate that out. You can find it even if they give you the diameter.